Hello, I'm Christina Hackelberg from the Explorers Hall of Fame in England. I'm sitting here today with the ghost of Francis Drake, who happens to be the native of, native of this great country. Drake, just let me start by saying how big of an honor it is to meet you due to the things you did in your lifetime. Can you start by telling me about your early life? First of all, my name is Sir Francis Drake, because Queen Elizabeth knighted me in 1581. All right, whatever. I was born in 1540 in Tavistock, Devon, England, to, my, to Elizabeth Myway and Edmund Drake. I had 11 other siblings. Uh, 19, in 1549, my family had to flee to the Kent due to the Roman Catholic uprising. Uh, when my father became part of the British Navy, uh, he introduced me to a merchant who traded with France. I was 13 years old when I met this guy. This shipmaster gave me a car, a cargo bark, which is like a, also a type of sailing vessel. I became, this, I became the master of that ship when I was like 20 years old. When I was 23, I went to the New World with the Hawkings, who were my relatives. Together we created the first English slave trading expeditions on the Judith. We took the slaves from Africa and brought it to the New World. What are some of those things you accomplished on those journeys? Well, the darn Spanish attacked and almost killed us many times. They destroyed all but two of our ships and I managed to escape. They killed 500 of men. They, they trapped me and our men in the Mexican port of San Juan de Uma. I somehow managed to, to survive, but from there, from there on out, I hated those people. I bet you I could beat them Juan and Juan. Ha! Huh. Get it? Juan and Juan? <laughs> uh, okay. No, never mind. Um, I still hate those Spaniards because of their love of Catholicism and their mistrust of us. They view me as a pirate, for God's sakes. In 1572, you were told by Queen Elizabeth to go plunder any of King Philip II's property from Spain. Can you tell us some of the stuff you did and how you lived up to her expectations? I sure can. I commanded two ships when we went to the Caribbean, and with the help of the French privateers and the Cimarroons, we captured the silver train at Nombre de Dios. Oh, and uh, I think it was sometime during March 1573. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Cimarroons are African slaves that escaped from the Spanish. So this silver train contained tons of tons of tons of gold. It was in Pan Panama where I became the first Englishman to ever see the Pacific Ocean. Thirty men that remained returned to Plymouth with that money. Perhaps your biggest accomplishment was your circumnavigation of the world. You were the first Englishman ever to complete this journey. What was going through your head on this expedition and what did you do to complete it? You were right when you said this is my biggest uh, accomplishment. It was a landmark for me and for many of my peers. In December of 1577, Queen Elizabeth told me to perform an expedition against the Spanish on the Pacific coast of the Americas. So my ship, the Pelican, and four others uh, left England, and we had 150 men at first. However, once we crossed the Magellan Strait, we lost two of our ships due to weather and other uh, factors. Then we got to the Pacific. Weather made two other ships perish, so it was only my ship that... Uh, that remained. We renamed it the Golden Hind in honor of Chris, Sir Christopher Hutton. Anyways, when we were sailing across the Pacific Ocean in South America, we plundered and attacked many Spanish ports like Vela Parviso. We landed at Port Loma, which is in somewhere in like Africa or I mean, California or Oregon or Canada. Or I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we fixed up many of our ships and chilled out for a while, you know? Me and the natives were tight, dog. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I named this place New Albion and claimed it for the crown of England. The queen kept the placement of this place secret from the, Span from the Spaniards of knowing. Eventually, on September 26th, we, we arrived back in Plymouth, England, and our ship carried many spices and other miscellaneous treasures. The half, the half of the plunder that we gave to the queen would surpass their income level for the whole year. Uh, she knighted me, like I said before, in 1581 because of this, and that's where I tamed the name Sir, and I became the mayor of Plymouth in 1581 also. I created an effective water supply that was lasted for over 300 years. I became a member of the, of the parliament in 1584 and 1585. There was a conflict, though, between England and Spain in 1585 and 1586. Could you please elaborate on this? <sighs> This better be the last question because I'm not answering any. I'm tired of answering these. Yes, sir. That will be it. All right. During this time, Queen Elizabeth told me to raid several cities in present North and South America. One day, I captured with St. Augustine in Florida, which still stands today. 
because of, because of what I did, King Philip II of Spain wanted to invade England. What I like to call it, I sing the king's beard. And I, when I occupied Cadiz for three days, we destroyed 31 of their ships and just captured six of them. They just, this made us mo them move their invasion back by year. And, and, but, but in 1588, they attempted to invade us. So I was the vice admiral in command of the English fleet. I captured Pedro de Valdez's ship in, Ros in Rosario. It was the Rosario. That was the ship name. Uh, my job as well was to hold a lantern out for other ships to see at night, and we saw the Eng we, I, I steered the Eng other English ships to the Spaniards in the Armada. This is called the Spanish Armada. Uh, I'm not going to talk any about my failures because you know I'm not pretty, I'm not I'm not meaning to boast, but I'm pretty awesome. And of course, you died on January 28, 1596, due to a fever. At least your body is buried in the sea. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us here at the Explorer Hall of Fame. We always love having you. That's it for our program tonight, but join us next week where we talk to John Hawkins. Good night.